Karen is sort of a mainstay of what I'm doing. He plays keyboards, he sings, he's now playing guitar as well a bit. I, I'd first met him and worked with him on Live Aid in 1985 when we both were playing with Brian Ferry. And then I got him in and he he played on the Momentary Lapse of Reason Pink Floyd album and on the tour and he's been with me ever since. Guy Pratt is the bass player. He also has been with me since the 87 tour, the Momentary Lapse of Reason, so he's a couple of years under 30 years with me. <laughs> And we have um, Stevie De Stanislaw, who's a lovely American drummer who also has a great voice and he sings on some things. He, I, he's, he did them on an island tour with me nine years ago. He's just a really good drummer and it's very, very important to have a really good drummer and he's very sensitive to everything that we do. We have Kevin McAlee, who's another keyboard player who worked with John on the Kate Bush shows last year and he's come in to help out as a second keyboard player. We have a sax player called Theo Travis, who's joining us for a few dates. Then we've got a, a young Brazilian chap called Joao Melo, who is going to be playing at the Albert Hall dates. We have Phil Manzanera playing second guitar with me, and he and I go back a long, long way. He co-wrote, in fact, one of the songs on the Momentary Lapse of Reason album back in the 80s. He came with me on the Yonan Island tour nine years ago and uh, has been working on production on this record and the Yonan Island record. We have two singers joining us, Louise Marshall and Brian Chambers. We were always running out of voices and I thought it would be nice to go back to having backing singers. Mm -hmm. 